video, I have one out and I have purchased a project car. Would you consider it a project car? I would, yes. Okay. So this is a 2004 Subaru Legacy and I bought it as in the pretense that it needs a motor. The mechanic told them there is oil blowing into the engine and that it probably needs an engine. It is JDM. The steering wheel is on the wrong hand side. So this will be interesting. But as of right now, we've got a charger on it and we're gonna see if it runs. Uh, he said it didn't have rod knock. That would be really nice. I'm expecting this to be motor. I really do miss this gauge cluster too. Ooh, baby. I know, it is nice with the needle sweep on startup and everything. Okay. Cam always likes to show up as far as in the garage with the doors closed. Oh my god. Right. It really does smell like a sketchy camera. <laughs> okay, let's go inside for a second. Oh my god. Okay, I think it does have turbo failure. <laughs> or engine failure. I'm not too sure. We're gonna have to look into this. Jesus Christ. Let's get inside. Come on. Come on, get inside. We're gonna smoke ourselves out of here. I like the smell because it smells like a skidoo. No, we're gonna die. Jesus Christ. We're gonna die. <laughs> so basically, we know there is an oil consumption problem here. There is some things that are raising some attention. There is oil all over the turbocharger. It is clearly blowing out oil everywhere. Um, I also can't help but wonder if it has high blow by because of the oil catch can. That kind of makes me uh, that makes me wonder if it does have blow by. Just because I feel like someone would put a catch can on if they were trying to alleviate excess crankcase pressures. Yeah. The first thing we're gonna do here is we are going to yank this turbo inlet pipe and we are going to see if that turbocharger has failed. I am expecting the shaft to be broken. If it is not broken and the turbo looks good, then unfortunately we have bigger problems. Out she comes. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh goodness, there is lots of oil. Oh yeah. Oh goodness, come look. At oh, the here he comes, Cam, look. Oh no way. There he is. There he is. Wow. Like a wiggle waffle. Oh, at this point, we have removed the turbo heat shield, which was an absolute nightmare. There's some bolts in terrible places, and it had to be adjusted to be removed. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start yanking this turbo off. Papa's got a loose tooth. Wow, look at that. Wow. It's kind of cool looking, isn't it? Yeah. What does the exhaust side look like? Oily. You can tell she's been blowing oil. After we cut open the oil filter, we found a whole bunch of metal shavings in the oil filter. And that is definitely bearing material. So. I kind of thought I heard this motor rattling when we started it up. You can see on the turbocharger that some debris has hit it and there is excessive movement in that turbo. And after looking at things, there's also a bunch of dirt in the turbo inlet pipe. So after looking in this cold air intake, and what I noticed is kind of weird. There's like another silicone coupler on here. So I don't think this is the right size. And I think someone just threw this on. Or maybe it wasn't the right size and someone threw that on once they realized that it wasn't the right size. And you can actually see all the dirt that has been getting sucked in here. So this motor is dusted. And basically what that means is it swallowed up a bunch of dirt from this not being properly rigged up. And yeah, I'm assuming that the dirt obviously not only ruined the turbo and caused it to blow oil everywhere, but clearly we've got some serious engine damage. So she's gonna need an engine. The engine has arrived for 
the Subaru uh, for Blanco here. Jamin also went ahead and picked me up a door. And as you can see, it's not quite the same color. So we're going to have to paint the door. I've obviously got to do some paint correction there. Maybe hammer out that dent as best as I can. But this is the motor I ordered. I ordered this off eBay with warranty. This motor has 55,000 miles. And if you don't know, EJ20Xs and EJ20Ys are actually pretty cheap compared to other super engines, mainly because they don't have all the problems. So these engines are pretty plentiful and there's lots of them, so they're not that expensive. It's turbo, it's got dual ABCS, makes about 260 horsepower. Notice that this was broken. Now that really put a frustration or made me a little angry because that means that now these camshaft gears have to come off and that is not a fun task on these Subaru engines. So I'm gonna be obviously doing that, but on closer inspection, I actually noticed that this gear has been hit by something and it's actually bent slightly. So I don't really, I'm obviously not gonna use this gear. There's no, to use a bent camshaft gear would definitely be quite silly and we'll probably wear out the belt a little funny or something. So I'm gonna put one of the gears off the old motor on this, but then again, not that big of a deal. I mean, whatever, I, uh, so it needs some work. That's to be expected. Hopefully it runs. That'll be the true test of time here, so. What oil do you think's in here? Uh, I'm gonna say not a lot. What are you gonna say? Close my eyes, I always see 